Hi everyone, welcome to a very roughly chucked together episode of Gaffering Gear. So I'm filming this on um, Saturday the 13th of February. Um, this colossal mess here is, um, I had a, a client want to hire a daylight space light that they could run off a domestic power outlet and operate off a remote control. And I was in the process of testing this and making sure that I had all the bits and pieces for their gear rental, and then we went into stage four lockdowns in Melbourne because of um, the UK variant of the coronavirus has shown up here. So we've got 19 people that have it. So they've shut down the whole state. So all the shoots got canceled and all that. So I've got this thing sitting here in the workshop, which I'm gonna pack down. And I thought, well, hold on, before I pack it down, I'll just do a quick uh, piece about uh, what we've got here. So this is a space light skirt. So if you're not familiar with a space light skirt, it's a big silk cylinder. Now the reason they're called space lights is because they were designed to go up into a lighting grid and light a large space or a large area. So they're not designed to be used down close to the ground like this, it's not the purpose of them. Now these skirts or these lights originally had a 6,000 watt uh, tungsten lamp head uh, in here that used six 1,000 watt strip um, lamps, double-ended lamps. Now I sold those off years ago, but I kept the skirts. And uh, what I had in place of the, um, of the tungsten lamp head was one of these. So um, this was made by uh, Los Angeles Rag House, and I can't find it on their website anymore. I think it was sold by memory as a sky panel to space light adapter or something like that. But anyway, it, it, that's not the important bit. I'm just showing you this as a concept because I'm sure if you're a gaffer and you own space light skirts, Chances are you know somebody um, who can knock up something like this for you. You know, you know someone who can do metal craft. So it's, uh, you've got your ring up here that you can tie to or, or, or chain your space light to to lower it up and down out of the grid. Um, the center here takes a uh, junior pin, but in this case here, I'm using a butt plug adapter to a baby pin. So you can put you know, any, any LED fixture you've got that is you know, within the circumference of your space light skirt, you can use. You know, so monocolor like this, high powered monocolor, um, bicolor, RGB, you know, whatever. You know, you've got heaps of lights that you can, you can repurpose and use in, in your space light. And the next thing on these is you've got these ears uh, with holes in them. So uh, what I'm doing uh, with these is I use carabiner and link chain. So I'll just get that on. All right, so the reason I use uh, carabiners and link chains is so I can adjust the height of my skirt. So, uh, for example, here, I'm using a monocolor light with a dish, and I'm using the dish because I want to get maximum output. All right, so in order for this to floodlight the skirt, I need the skirt lower. Okay, so I'm at the end of my link chains here. But if I had, say, a panel light, like a sky panel, for example, that has a wider flood, then I'd move my carabiners up to the next bit of link or further up in the links on all three and raise my skirt up so I get no spill light. So look, anyway, that's, uh, that's this episode of Gaffer and Gear done. So if, you've got, if you're a gaffer and you've got old space lights sitting around, you know, instead of spending tens of thousands of dollars on, on LED fit outs for them, um, a clamp like that or an adapter like this you know, could come in really, really handy, save your fortune and give you a lot of options for running your space lights. All right, see you on the next episode of Gaffer and Gear. Take care, everybody.